So first up, again, IRS prioritizes cryptocurrency. And I got to tell you, um, I didn't think they would prioritize this much this fast. And this is just the U.S. And I'm sure it's going to happen around the globe because governments sure love to tax us. Anyhow, the new U.S. tax form is out. And the crypto question is the first one on the main 1040. Question reads, and this is, and I answer this question uh, for the 2019 taxes. And this was on uh, a different part of the form. But now it's like on the very front cannot miss it and it states at any time during 2020 did you receive sell send exchange or otherwise acquire any financial interest in any virtual currency and it only requires a yes or no answer so they're pretty much just gathering information but i can tell you what is virtual currency i mean could like uh, traveler miles be virtual currency could uh, different parts for like uh, a game be considered virtual currency i think yeah i mean if you want to look at the, the lay of the law but I am not a CPA, so I will let uh, her or, or my lady do it. But uh, I mean, I always have to say, say yes. But I'm wondering how this is going to work out for like, you know, uh, young adults and things like that who have all these different, you know, what would be considered virtual currency. First of all, define what that is. And I'll, you know, and then you can answer that uh, totally truthfully. Anyhow, the IRS began including the crypto question last year. Uh, but some tax experts believe the question is unconstitutional. This is from Justin Winston, uh, apparently, apparently a crypto lawyer. He said it's way too broad and should be challenged. He explained, if you get paid in crypto, you must declare it as wages. If you realize gains from a crypto investment, you must declare it as a capital gain. But constitutionally, the government should not know whether you purchased, received, or acquired crypto because crypto is not just money. Public coins like Bitcoin require native currency to access this network. Bitcoin is sound money, but also so much more. And he states, the updated IRS form doesn't ask you to list your crypto holdings yet, but to declare if you received or sold crypto within the year, no matter the reason. This information is beyond the purview of information the IRS needs to be. It's do its job. But I got to tell you, on my form in 2019, uh, the different form, this was from the additional income and adjustments. Uh, I was able to take massive losses uh, because um, there was these unrealized losses that I could actually do. And I use CryptoTrader.tax. If you're uh, looking for your, your taxes for next year, I'm going to leave that in my description. But um, it actually worked to my advantage. So, um, But I had to actually declare all the different things and transactions that I had. And my accountant actually um, attached it to it. But my final thoughts really are just this. IRS does what it wants, and we can challenge it all day long, but until it actually gets challenged in the courts and go through the system, you're still going to have to answer yes, and you're still going to have to talk about it. And again, if you've done a KYC or AML, and you've transferred money into cryptocurrency, trust me, your government knows. That's just uh, how it works, unfortunately. All right, so we have that, and that's going to lead us into our question of the day, which is going to talk a lot about uh, cashing out and where to store things and stable coins. So let's jump in the office. 